Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Luca and today I want to share with you how you can add a life and dark theme to your website in Framer. So this is the website that we are going to build. This is the life theme. Here I have like the switcher that you can use to change to dark theme. We are not only changing the color of like the background and the foreground, but we are also changing elements on the page. For example, this text changes from dark theme to light theme and also the uh, image changes from a from the city at night to a daylight city so how do we do that in framer there's three main things that we're going to cover the first one which is also the only one that you can do natively in framer is to basically switch the colors so I have uh, basically the, the background going from uh, white to black and for example the title going to black to white and so on then I'm going to show you how you can add a switcher like this uh, this unfortunately requires code I already have the uh, you can use this free resource that I'm going to share with you in a second and finally uh, we are also going to change uh, like elements on the page this also requires a custom component which you can also find for free on clicks.supply so i've prepared this starter file that i'm going to leave in the description if you want to remix it and like follow along and as you can see now there's basically nothing of what we want there's no uh, switcher and there's also no light and dark mode the first thing I want to share with you is this button here in the uh, mini bar here in the bottom right. Basically the fourth icon starting from the left is the one that dictates whether you are viewing your website in light, light mode or dark, dark mode. Uh, right now there's nothing changes because well we haven't changed anything but once uh, we make our changes we can use this button here to preview them. So let's start from changing colors. This can be done natively and can be done using color styles. So basically you can't do this if you are not using color styles, so uh, you will have to set them up. Basically when you create a color style you get this toggle here and this toggle is used to choose whether we want to apply this to the light mode or to the dark mode so uh, for example here the background on light mode we want it to be white and on dark mode we want it to be black so we can just change it from uh, from white to black this will not change the uh, light mode so we have uh, white on light and dark and black on dark and with this alone if I try to use the button that I just showed you now the uh, the background of the page changes so this is quite straightforward or we have to do is change also the foreground colors we have this dark uh, this black that we use is for the title that we can change for example to white so now if we preview here we go we also have the title that is white and we also need to change the uh, the description color the secondary color because uh, it's not uh, bright enough so we can change this from gray to for example black with a 60% opacity so now if we preview here we go boom we already have basically turned our site into a dark mode we have the background color we have the uh, foreground color and we can apply these colors on all our site so this is basically already 80% of the job. Now, a little shortcoming of this is that you cannot switch. Uh, um, there's no native switcher inside of Framer. So as of now, um, the theme will reflect the uh, user's theme. But uh, when a user is visiting your website, he cannot switch between light and dark mode unless he switches the theme of his browser. So how do we do that? We need either a code component or a code override. In this case, the resource I'm going to share with you is a code override, but you can also uh, use a code component. 
basically what we want to do is take this this uh, override here we can just copy it here we go then we can go back to our project and create a new code file in this case it's going to be an override we can call this film toggle we can just paste this in save and now uh, basically what this does is it exports a function that is going to add um, the functionality on, on an element that we are going to use. So for example, if I, oops, if I go inside the navbar and add an icon, let's say uh, I can take the phosphor icon, let's make it a bit smaller, we can use one of the colors that we have, let's change it to sun, Okay, now if I apply the code override to this icon and I preview and I publish, I can't preview the code override on uh, on preview because basically it uh, um, relies on a browser thing. So, and since you don't have this browser thing available uh, on on Framer, you need to preview it. So here now we have this button that allows us to change between uh, light and dark mode. As you can see, uh, it works perfectly. Now, um, let's say that I also want to change this icon based on, on whether we are on light mode or dark mode. As you can see uh, on the sample project here, we have the sun icon when we are on the light film and we have the moon icon when we are on dark film. So how do we do this? And now we are going to use the second component, which is the film variant switcher. What this does is basically it allows you to switch between two um, frames when the uh, film is changing. So I, you can already find it in the assets panel, but uh, if you don't see it, you can just go here and remix the free project. So what we want to do is drag and drop it into our uh, file. It's pretty small. It basically have, has a um, width of zero and height of zero. So if you, uh, so basically it will not be visible until you connect something. And what we want to do is basically go into our navbar. We can take out the uh, icon we just added, and instead we want to have our frame switcher inside of of this container and we want an icon for uh, light mode so let's call this light mode and one for dark mode we can change this to a moon here we go and all we have to do is take our frame switcher and connect uh, um, the light icon to our light version and our uh, dark version to our uh, dark icon. The fit of the component is unfortunately doesn't work uh, always great. So for example here it's not working great. In this case we can just change the height, the width and height to fixed and bring it back down to 24. So uh, usually it could, it, it works but uh, if it doesn't, for example for icons, you can just change it to a fixed width and height and it will work. All we have to do now is basically um, publish, yes, open the project. And now if I try to uh, switch between the two variants, now I can see the uh, icon changing based on the theme. And we can use the same trick that we have here to uh, change any element on the page. I'm going to show you with the image and the uh, text. So uh, same extra trick, we can take off the uh, dark uh, image, we can duplicate it and also have a light image. Uh, we can use Unsplash to have it. Let's call, uh, um, let's just search for city, here we go. I'm going to call this light and what we want to do is get rid of the simple frame and instead our instead add our frame switcher 
uh, same as before we can go with uh, not with fill but we can go with, actually we can go with fill uh, if the parent has uh, a fixed width but in this case we can go with fixed for example 800 uh, and 550 maybe a bit less 450 and what we want to do is just select here connect to the dark version actually let's connect it to the uh, light version and have dark here here we go again we we can preview uh, from using this icon but we can preview on on here as you can see it doesn't change but we can preview it here as you can see it's changing between uh, the light image and the dark image and finally we can do this with text so let's take this oops let's take it off duplicate this and change this to dark I can remove this add our frame switcher and now if you try to connect you will see that it doesn't let you connect oops uh, the frame switcher doesn't let you connect text that's because uh, you can't connect text directly but what you can do is just wrap your text uh, inside a frame you can just set uh, width and height to fit and if I call this light text and this dark text here we go now if I select again our frame switcher I can connect the light frame to the light version and the dark frame to the dark version now we can use our toggle and here we go it's changing the image the text the icon and basically everything the colors you have complete control over everything regarding your website let's preview also here we go changing from dark and light theme you can change colors you can change text you can change image you can change whatever and that's basically it for the tutorial in i will leave the uh, remix link for this project in the description below i will also leave a link to the two resources i've used in in this video from click supply and if you have any questions or any topics you want me to cover feel free to leave a comment and i'll see you guys in the next one